Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to Crystal's Crystal Clear Visions, where I use my visions, tarot, oracle, music, movies, dreams, whatever to get us messages from the most high, from our angels, our ancestors, our guides, loved ones here and passed over, okay? They give us messages to help us get past any blockages. They give us words of encouragement. And you know, sometimes I just want to keep it a buck. We're just being nosy, all right? To see what's going on around us. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions to the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you um, for all that you do. For those who book readings with me, those who visit my Shopify store and make purchases there. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, okay? And if you're new to the channel and you want to know how to get down with that get down, check the description box below or check my channel profile. It has all the links for you to be able to get in touch with me, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to get a general message and see what it is we need to know what's going on at this time, okay? Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, God. I thank you so much for the gifts that you give me to be able to read these messages. All right, I say, I say, I say. All right, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know at this time? What is it that you need the collective to be aware of? First card out, we got triumphant success. This is the Ace of Swords. So this is clarity, okay? This is someone getting some sort of success, someone beating some sort of battle, okay? Coming out um, with victory on top. Definitely getting some sort of communication coming through. We have the Five of Cups here. So emotional loss. Someone could have been going through, uh, may have lost someone, or someone may be feeling sad, feeling stressed, feeling depressed, um, possibly based off this clarity that they received. So someone may have gotten some true, correct, information and it left them feeling a little down in the dumps 111 is the time right now so if you're manifesting just know that it's coming through at this time um but yeah someone is definitely feeling um grieving um at this moment grieving because of some truth right yeah they've learned something here with this wisdom this is the hierophant here so this person has definitely um got some sort of ancient knowledge some sort of ancient clarity okay um this clarity is something that this person is possibly this is someone who's open up to spirituality okay with this purple here this is someone connecting to their crown chakra someone getting um again some sort of um confirmation or download and this could be to help this person with their base chakra to help them build a stronger foundation so someone again may have gotten some news that may have left them sad and left them you know worried um left them feeling heartbreak heartbroken and grief right but this news that they received was again to help this person to level up to help this person to heal to help this person um to get a stronger connection with their higher power okay you know we have patience here this was to help someone nurture themselves balance themselves out here card number 14 that's the temperance so this was definitely meant this information this clarity that you have received was again meant to help you to level up okay meant to help you um decide on you know who you know what your life was really about okay yeah again to help you build a strong foundation here with the four of pentacles this is definitely to help you learn what to hold on to what to let go of how to help you discern between obstacles that may have been placed in your way so definitely someone has this definitely in their thoughts right now yeah we have truth here card number 20 which is um uh, 20, 20 is the will of fortune. No, 10 is the will of fortune. 20 is judgment. Yeah, judgment. Yeah, someone got some judgment, some truth here, okay, about a choice, um, about leaving the past behind here. We also have the crown chakra. I told you this was to help someone to make a decision to decide, like, where they wanted their life to go, okay? How they wanted their life to go. To learn how to have discernment, okay? To learn how to um, move forward. To learn um, what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want in your life, okay? 
And so this clarity, like I said, although it is truth, we have truth, clarity, wisdom here, uh, the base chakra, the firm foundation. Okay, this clarity was meant to help you be able to build your legacy now on a stronger foundation. Okay, so whatever this truth was that you may have come across, it was meant to help you help guide you forward. Okay, it was meant to give you the tools that you needed to be able to create the life that you want. But of course, you want to make sure that you're creating a strong foundational life. Okay, 532 on the clock when I said that card number 25 high honor okay so this is definitely someone i'm i'm channeling that is chosen okay this is someone that the most high looks upon and um protects okay this is someone that the most high needed to you know needed for this person to decide like who did they want to serve okay were you going to serve your lower self your lower nature um or did you want to serve your highest self your highest nature okay this person um holy spirit looked at this person as someone who was who was worthy um of honor so of course they had to bring down this foundation around this person here okay we have the main female here card number two and two is the high priestess okay oh and 25 is seven which is the chair so this is definitely to help someone to be able to move forward, right? Um, possibly to go towards their counterpart part here with this main female, but definitely to give this person knowledge and wisdom that most don't um, usually have, okay? Again, this was so that the Most High could help this person build a stronger foundation here. We also have child here. So someone may have found out some truth about um, possibly someone that they may have... Um, had a relationship with someone that they may have shared a child with okay or thought they shared a child with and then we also have imprisonment here so yes yeah, spirit whatever this truth was that was revealed it was to help this person to free themselves okay yes it was possibly about a marriage okay about a commitment a union that this person had the truth came out about whatever this situation was with this person um that this person wasn't the person that was meant to um build with okay I don't know if y'all can hear the sirens in the background but like i said this was this wisdom that this person received was to help them to free themselves okay that's the fire truck all right spirit why is this high honor here why is this high honor here all right, so we got the Ten of Swords here with the Eight of Swords. I told you this was meant with the Ace of Swords here, okay? This definitely was, um, this information was brought to this person so that they can free themselves, so that they can understand that they have been dealing with someone that was backstabbing them, someone that did not want to see them move ahead, someone that did not see how special this person was, okay? I so I feel like this is someone that, you know, the most high, chose handpicked personally okay to deliver their messages to um to deliver truth okay to build this this foundation um to help this person again to build a strong foundation um with the eight of swords it talks about being mentally stuck okay um mentally trapped so i feel like this person that um i'm channeling um possibly a masculine energy but take it how it resonates um, this person, the, the clarity that this person received was so that they would know, like, again, the people who could come to the top with them, okay? This was someone who, who tried to sabotage them, who placed obstacles in their way purposely so that they wouldn't get on their divine path, okay? Um, with this Ace of Swords here, that spirit saying that's the truth. So we got two Ace of Swords here. So this clarity was meant to happen. It was meant to come out so this person could, again, know who could go to the top with them, know who to take care of know who to show love to okay because everybody that you show love to isn't gonna always show love back to you okay so we do have the three of cups here the three of cups talks about a celebration it talks about union card number one okay so again a new beginning um a new start here with it falling on top of this child and having the son here okay this person um again may have you know may get a new beginning when it comes to a child okay um 
this person may have a son okay we have the nine of pentacles here in reverse okay the nine of pentacles when it's upright talks about someone who nurtures themselves who um who balances themselves someone who invests in themselves right so i feel like this masculine energy was not investing in themselves they weren't investing in their health they were just going along with the flow because you know they you know this is somebody who was not happy okay somebody who was feeling trapped someone who knew that they were being betrayed being backstabbed but they decided to stay in this situation because they were afraid to step out on faith right um, but spirit had to let this person see things for clearly what they truly were so that this person could heal themselves. So this person could understand that they were someone that is chosen. So spirit could show this person that they were someone who um, he favors, okay? Someone who he, again, wants to know that they're loved, okay? And, and this person, the only way that they would know that they was loved is when they issued that love to themselves, okay? So again, spirit wants this person to free themselves from toxic patterns, toxic behaviors, toxic people that were trying to keep this person stuck, okay? Spirit wants this person to balance out, okay? Um, if this person, if you are, if, if this is the person that I'm talking to that's watching this, with this six of pentacles you possibly gravitated towards relationships that weren't even weren't balanced okay you were wondering why you could never really get your money up like you possibly got money um you possibly was could be a business owner but you was always like a day late and a dollar short is what i just heard so if you were always wondering why you could never get to that ten of pentacles that legacy to where you could retire to where you could um yeah because with the nine of pentacles here um when you could get to that point where you wouldn't have to work so hard um in order to stay above so i feel like this is somebody that could have possibly been living like paycheck to paycheck okay um or you know just barely having their head above the water and so spirit was like it's because of the people that you were trying to take to the top with you you had someone that was here trying to sabotage you someone trying to keep you stuck in jail someone possibly lying to you about um a family okay or lying to you about family situations here and so in order for you to be able to build something on a strong foundation you had to really be able to clearly see the people that you were dealing with okay so this was a lesson in discernment okay to teach you who could go to the top and who couldn't go to the top to teach you about you know being in a relationship that was divinely guided by the most high okay i feel like this relationship that you were in pre previously um this marriage here that we have here that you were in previously yeah this marriage kept you in poverty it kept you stuck okay because this person wasn't you know this this person didn't give equally okay this person it was like you made the money and this person spent all the money so you could never really get your head above water because this person didn't really have any type of love or care right so you had to learn who to defend yourself from okay this is somebody that you possibly always had to you know sleep with one eye open when it came to this person and so spirit was like yo we can't i can't i'm i value you you're someone that's chosen you're someone that i hold in high regard so spirit had to take you through this situation so again you would learn your lesson about knowing who was worth dealing with and who wasn't here so you can make the choice to heal okay make the choice to free yourself from this situation and I just heard bought sense is the best sense. So this was, you had to go through this situation with this person in order to realize, you know, in order to learn the lesson, okay? In order to be able to uh, build a stronger foundation, okay? So now I feel like with you leaving this, now that you know the truth about this marriage, you know the truth about this person that you have been dealing with, with all these secrets that was trying to keep you trapped. Now that you know the truth, like it, when you know better, you do better here, okay? With this page of wands here, that's definitely getting some sort of news, some sort of information, okay? And so... 
again, this information that you received was to bring clarity so that you could free yourself, free yourself from this toxic environment um, so that you could move forward. OK, because, again, you are someone who is very favored and someone who is honor, um, honorable. OK, you are someone that a lot of people possibly look up to. Yeah. So you definitely are going through some sort of heartbreak at this time with this three of, of swords. But it was only, you know, because you were waiting to be able to move forward. OK. Because someone was trying to stop your ships from coming in, okay? Somebody was trying to keep you from getting these blessings that you, you know, your birthright blessings that you, you know, were promised from the Most High, okay? Because the Most High promised everyone to be able to live in peace and harmony, to have abundance, okay? Those were things that um, were promised by the Most High when you... Um, carry out his work okay and so this person was trying to keep you distracted from that they didn't want you to um heal yourself they didn't want you to look up to the most high this person wanted to keep you stuck and always focused on money okay a day late a dollar short here this person didn't want you to get yourself in alignment here with this three of pentacles yeah this person didn't want you to get that fourth pentacle from the holy spirit okay this person didn't want you to have this new beginning and you had to learn that by getting the truth on this person, by, by getting this situation. You had to learn that this person wasn't, this wasn't an ordained um, situation here. This was something that you were always going to have to make a choice between yourself and that person, okay? And this person always wanted you to just choose them and not yourself. But again, at this point, Spirit was like, yo, you got to learn how to choose yourself. You got to love yourself so that I can bring to you the love that's meant for you, right? With this Three of Cups so that you would be able to celebrate and have happiness. And you wouldn't have to worry about being put in third-party situations, okay? Because... Um, I'm feeling like this person that you possibly was dealing with, yeah, with these secrets here, this person, you know, they were all about the money, okay? They were all about what you could do for them, okay? Never what they could do for you. There was never balance here, yeah. So the spirit needed you to, like, pay attention to the details here with this eight of, of pentacles here. Yeah, with this knight of swords. And so now this person is upset here that you're leaving behind in the dust this queen of pentacles. This person who was only about the money. Like I said, they're very upset that you're wanting to move forward and that you're wanting to be single and focus on healing yourself and getting your pentacles up, okay? Yeah, listen, this person was trying to keep you stuck here with this three of wands here. They wanted to block the blessings that spirit had for you. I can't make it up with this five of swords. This person was definitely here trying to sabotage what you was waiting on, okay? So if this hasn't happened, um, this could be just spirit trying to warn you that the person that you're dealing with is trying to sabotage the things that you have coming towards you. They're trying to sabotage your healing. They're trying to sabotage your life, okay? Because this person wants to keep you stuck, okay? This person may be upset that you found out the truth about this child or even how you found out the truth about this child. And so this person did everything that they could to sabotage you, to bring you down. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands here. This person could have been someone who um, could have slept around. This could be someone who may have did like spell work and things of that nature, okay? This is definitely someone who, you know, was only looking out for themselves. This wasn't someone who was nurturing and caring, okay? So this person could have tried to get you put in jail here with this chariot car here. But this talks about being victorious and getting away from this person, okay? So spirit wanted you, yeah, to get away so that you could heal, so that you could free yourself, okay, from this situation. Because again, you are a chosen one. You are someone that spirit looks upon and has high honor for, okay? And spirit didn't want you to be stuck in this situation. So again, this is definitely some clarity on if it hasn't happened. Definitely know that someone, your partner, um, possibly that you could be dealing with now is plotting against you to try and get you put in jail this person was only with you for the money this person um told lots of lies had lots of secrets and spirit wants you to know that you're favored and they want you to free yourself but the choice is yours if you don't choose to leave that situation just know that this is where you're headed to jail okay um but if you decide to leave this situation, then I feel like that person is going to backfire on them, okay? The the bed that they made for you, they're going to have to lay in it, okay? 
So we got soulmates here, card number 41, breaks down to five. Five is the hierophant, right? So of uh, being a spiritual leader, a spiritual teacher. Five also speaks about change, okay? So like I said, I feel like the person that you could be dealing with, you may feel like that's your soulmate, but spirit is here saying now, giving you the clarity that that person is not your soulmate, okay? That person only wants the best for them and they're not concerned about you, okay? So it says harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship, fostering personal growth. Spirit told me to go to the protection message. And important relationships bring you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve your well-being in enter into this dynamic so you can heal them this person is called to a sacred task to help you learn even if it seems uncomfortable sticky or even inconceivable the question is not why did he or she do this to me but rather what is the gift in this look into this mirror you will only be changed for the better okay so i said spirit is definitely wanting you to understand that this person that you have that you may be with or that you have gotten this clarity about when it comes to these secrets, when it comes to a child, when it comes to this person trying to sabotage you and stop your blessings from coming in, uh, there, it was the lesson to be learned from that again was to have discernment, okay, to know who to trust, to know who you're supposed to deal with, to know who can go to the top with you, okay? Um, and so therefore, you know, don't blame this person for what they did because again, like I said, this was a lesson for you to learn. Just know now, um, that you have that gift of discernment, okay? And to know that the Most High loves you and they want to see you succeed, okay? The universe wants to see you happy. They want to see you abundant. They don't want to see you sad and they don't want to see you stuck, okay? So if you're trying to decide on whether you should, um, if you're in a relationship with someone but you're not happy in that relationship, Spirit is saying like, look at this relationship and, and decide now whether it's worth trying to hold on to it or whether it's worth letting it go okay but again this could be a warning you know if this hasn't already happened that this could be what happens if you choose to keep going down this path okay and for some this could have already happened and this was to open your eyes to let you know that it's time to move forward okay so I hope this message helps somebody out there. I hope it falls on the ears that's supposed to hear it. All right. And until the next video, if you like this video, if it resonated, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos like this. Until the next video, I love you guys so much. Bye.